Guys here. Time to beat women. Hello gaming boys. I've been wondering how Tonkor does when it gets buffed. Uh, the Rivens got buffed for it. It got like um, in the past um, two Riven Disp updates, it got plus 0.4 Riven Disposition, which is pretty significant. All right. Um, the Rivens used to be garbage for it. And now they are very good. They're four out of five, as you can see right there. They're one point something. 1.2, I think, maybe. I'm not sure. But yeah, look. 103 multi shot, 148% crit chance, 191.2% damage, negative mag capacity, and that is looking pretty good actually. That's pretty gaming, as they say. Um, so yeah, um, almost 200% multi shot, almost 100% crit chance. That's pretty consistent. That's pretty juicy. And we got hunter munitions in there and no extra elementals, as you can probably see. So yeah. Um, this build is pretty good except the vigilante armaments I think something else might be better if it got you know if I repolarized it to a V it would add a heavy cavalry that might make it better I'm not sure though nor do I care enough to repolarize it to give it a shot so yeah this thing is gonna make some um, really nutty bleed procs and we're gonna see how those do and I'm tr interested in seeing like how nutty the bleed products can actually get and that's what you are gonna find out today on this episode of um ribbon boy does reviews all right so yeah we got it's it almost acts like a gas build all right because it, it does aoe dot's aoe dot's that's area of effect damage over time i guess wow that was very but that was the shittiest Thing I've ever seen but yeah when you don't get a bleed proc almost nothing happens but when you get it when you do get a bleed proc look that shit is pretty intense those are some very nutty bleed procs um, I'm gonna open I mean simulate some leech Eximus units if I can and we're gonna see the bleed procs on those dudes so yeah um, I'm even gonna bastille them because that makes it really easy to see there um, bleed procs and it's gonna increase the potency of the bleed procs okay there one is 82,000 damage so that's pretty good I kind of like that all right yeah he got bopped 67,000 that's pretty good hey 100,000 damage bleed procs that's pretty gaming 93,000 damage all right yeah yeah I can definitely appreciate that so yeah 100,000 damage bleed procs against fully armored, you know, they it, it gets armor bypassed, you know, and it's headshots and it got Bane. But yeah, that's pretty decent results for a relic um, primary weapon. You know, this thing used to be really insanely popular, like maybe four or five years ago. I don't remember. But yeah, it used to have a two shot magazine and um, it used to have 3.0 critical damage and 30% crit chance. And it used to be much more overpowered and back then it was the most overpowered primary in the game next to Sinoid Simulator I think I'm pretty sure so yeah um, and it didn't have any self damage back then and it used to work um, like this like it would bounce off of all terrain and then explode after a certain period or if you hit an enemy with the grenade itself it would detonate so it had a slight learning curve to you know how you use it but when you got used to it which took like two minutes um you had the most overpowered uh, primary weapon in the game and you didn't even have to get some kind of op build you could l literally leave two slots in the build like empty and it would still be a completely adequate primary weapon so yeah tonkor was a beast and now it's just whatever just a launcher and launchers kind of fell out because now we have much better um, AOE weapons like um, beam weapons that are flamethrowers like Ignis Wraith. Uh, we got Archiplasmors, we got Fallmans, we got Catch Moons. We got much better solutions for dealing with large numbers of enemies that, you know, Tonkor got kind of obsolete, I guess. So, yeah, um, you can kill a ton of stuff with. Um, powerful bleed procs like tech Eximus units uh, we can definitely kill these guys but 
Um, I still have Prime Bane of Corrupted in the build, so we're gonna Bastille them to simulate plus 25% damage to Corpus. See, that's some kind of damage, I guess. 10,000 damage ain't, ain't fucking anything to write home about, but, you know, it kills them. If you slapped on Corpus, and if you could manage to make uh, a consistent gas build with this thing, which is kind of difficult, um, it would be much better. I tried that right here, um, and it didn't work all that well. Um, since this thing is an explosive weapon, it already spreads the DOTs of um, the Hunter munitions to everybody already. So why would it matter if you got, you know, gas on it? Gas is like uh, almost simulating a DOT explosion um, with something that otherwise wouldn't have it, like a sniper or a pistol, you know. This already has an explosion and you can um, clip like six enemies with one shot, so why would you need gas? But yeah, I still tried to build it and it didn't work out all that well. But I'm gonna try it again, because why not? Um, 20,000 gas, 50,000, 50% uh, 50 status maybe good maybe bad we're gonna find out and i'm still gonna like bastille them because i want to see the dots and i want to increase the gas damage okay yeah so yeah i guess you can make a consistent gas build for these dudes um, i'm gonna try with corrupted maybe we get something good and worthy of looking at but it's gonna be a little difficult to beat that um hunter munitions build so yeah, almost 100% crit chance and almost 200% multi-shot really makes Hunter a really trashy mod look good. So yeah. Alright, yeah, those don't look particularly impressive. I'm not too like... Yeah, those are, that's trash. It's definitely not worth using over the Hunter builds, but that's like proof of concept that it works. Look, I can shoot him in the head. 11,000 damage... Gas Brock, maybe? I don't know. Could have been a bleed. Could it, could it have been a bleed? I doubt it. I don't think we have slash damage on the thing. No, that was a Gas Brock. But yeah, you gotta get headshots on all these targets to get really good numbers. Otherwise, they'll look very lame. So, yeah, that's the thing you gotta remember about this thing. Um, as for this slot right here, I really don't know. It, it, it's probably like heavy caliber is the thing that I would need. I don't know. Let's try to make just a normal corrosive build and see how that does. Oh no. Could it possibly be that I do, I do not have the slots to support this kind of build? Shit. Alright, we'll add a dual stack. Whatever. Who gives a shit? Dev definitely not you, because you're watching a Tomcore video. How... How interested could you possibly be in this thing? Like, let me, let's be honest here. How interesting is Tomcore? Not very. Um, it may be nostalgic for some of you guys because it used to be the, like the most powerful thing in existence. So yeah, that was a pretty good bop, as you can probably tell. We got um, some status as well. One of these guys got, oh my God, I hate when it bops and it doesn't detonate. Means I'm too close. It's like a nice little safety measure it doesn't detonate when you're too close to it. But kind of annoying when you're trying to test it. So yeah, that's the corrosive build. Of course, it's going to do against do good against the uh, heavy gunners. But yeah. Look, wow. Oh my god, I'm killing them without bleeds though. Oh my god, blast procs. Why is it so bright? That's really... The explosion, um, even for Corinth and this thing, the explosion particle effect is really lame. I think um, Warframe explosion particle effects are some of the worst that I've ever seen. If you've seen um, like Unreal Tournament 3 explosions and explosions in other games, they just look far more spectacular than these. You know, maybe I should enable like screen shake or something to make it look more dramatic or maybe um, adaptive exposure that also makes look make uh, makes uh, explosions look a little better but whatever um, yeah that's pretty much it on Tonkor. nothing else to tell you uh, what what can I what can a man say about this thing Ta uh, ribbons are gonna probably be pretty cheap I don't know why you would want this 
I'm definitely not like too hyped up about this. I'm just kind of glad that it got a disposition buff because I think it deserves to have even a higher disposition because it's so unused. I don't think I've ever seen one um, in use a Tonkor Riven or a Tonkor build or a Tonkor in a mission. Like I, I haven't seen a Tonkor guy in like two years. I don't remember the last time I saw a Tonkor in a mission. But all I play is Hydron and Kuva Survival and Kuva Floods on occasion, so yeah, my I don't see much of anything because I solo all the time too. Also, I don't even use Ivara as much. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, um, that'll be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this Tonkor video. So yeah, bye-bye. Also, thanks to my Patreons for giving me money. I love you. I actually do. No homo though.